All right. Hello, the world. How's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody doing now? How are you doing in whatever time and space you live in? That was good. Uh, second stream of the day. Uh, I want to see now if PyCharm is still fighting with me or if it's going to behave. Good. A second ago, it gave me some warning about a plugin that couldn't be installed, and then I tried to open files and everything went kaplooey, which is not helpful. So, because I didn't want to have a stream of just troubleshooting PyCharm, that would have been kind of a bummer, actually. Uh, but sometimes it happens. Your software freaks out on you, and what are you going to do? You know. All right. So, what are we going to do with this stream? This stream, we are going to uh, finish work on my browser URL uh, archiver. Well, not really an archiver. It's um, it's a stash box. Uh, and actually, let me rename this real quick because I actually want to keep this and I'm not really set up. Like this is kind of fast and hacky, even though there's some tests behind it. Um, that is definitely the wrong file, by the way. Uh, but what it what the script does, or what the little process does, is it looks at all the open tabs that, whoops, uh, actually it was EXM, is that? Boo, 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 boo. EXM, where'd that get to? I'm just curious. Custom electrical enclosures. EXM web. Oh, okay. COVID-19. Frontline counter shield. Interesting. It's actually not a bad little website. It's not responsive in terms of I've got the font bumped up, so it's freaking out there a little bit. Huh, interesting. Okay, whatever. Um... But so what it does, so I've got example domain, I've got this Google thing and I've got this other one. Um, and let me go back to PyCharm and I'll show you how it works. So let me actually grab this one. I wanna save this one off. That's what I wanna save because that was right before we actually started. The whole point of these is to, um, So that I can go through and when I've got a whole bunch of tabs sitting up before a stream, I want to close them. Like I want to start with a clean slate. And so what this little script does is it's a Python script that fires off an Apple script. The Apple script goes, talks to Safari, grabs all the URLs from Safari, feeds them back to the Python script, and then closes all the tabs so that and then Safari, Safari, Safari uh, Python saves them off into just a JSON file that does some deduping and some sorting. Um, and so, and it was funny because I did the dedupe and sort. So the dedupe is cool, that's fine, but I did the sorting in the JSON file. I could have actually done that on the output too. Um, and the output is what we're going to build here. But let me show you this to start with. So here's whatever, four tabs that are open and clean sweep tabs. So if I run this, see if it's going to run it. Yep. You'll see these tabs should disappear. There you go. And now what we've got is a new, we should have a new file to refresh this. How does this work? Browser save tabs. Uh. Oh no, did it? No. Oh, it refactored it. When I renamed it, it refactored. I just wanted to... I was trying to save that code. Undo reload from disk. What's that going to do? Oh! Whoa. It had it in memory. That is impressive. <laughs> wow. How do you rename it without, like, I don't want to refactor it. Or I don't want to, so search for references, search in comments. 
Okay. Oh, so I must have been able to do... If I turned that off, it probably would have worked. Okay, that's cool. I get it. Uh, but now we want to go here because what should be happening is this is... Yeah, it's putting it to the wrong place now. Save browser tabs. But saving it directly in there is not great, but it's fine. Um, so that's the script as it exists now. And what I want to do now is... So I've got it pulling down. That works. Uh, I'll mess around with it and get it storing to an okay place and wiring it up to um, to fire up with a hotkey or something. Um, but now what I want to do is do the reverse, right? Is to send them. Um, so, and so I don't know. I've been trying to do test stuff and I don't know. So like, I test basically, so here's here's a test just making sure that what, that I'm putting stuff into a set properly, which is really just testing that I'm splitting things properly. And like, this is actually a good test to run. So I'm not just testing set. Um, I was testing my process of moving stuff into set, which involves splitting data. And one of the things I found was when I was splitting it, there was a new line, there's an empty character, an empty string at the end of it. So like, that was a good test to run. Um, Make URL list. I don't think these run anymore because I think I ate that one, didn't I? Make URL list. Yeah, whoops, I might have done something bad here. Make URL set. Grab the raw URL. Close all Safari. Make URL set. Oh, save JSON, right. So I don't need to make the URL list. I'm just doing that directly when I'm writing the JSONs out. I'm doing the sort. Because the, the URL list was to do the do the sorting for me. Uh, which actually I probably should have done, but that's okay. Um, so now it's just doing the sort right here. I should have actually done that sort independently from writing the data. Um, just to have a better separation of concerns, but that's okay. So yeah, there's not a lot that, yeah, so that, that would have been what I was testing. Oh yeah, definitely. I actually do want to do this. Yeah, let me put that back in and actually do that. Cause I want this sort to be testable to make sure that I did it right. I was a little bit, yeah, okay. We're actually gonna do that first. Um, I've already got the logic, so hopefully it's not too tough to put in. Uh, so this actually is gonna help us, right? No attribute, make URL list. Okay, so we're gonna make make URL list. I like using tests to walk me through what to do. Yeah, I think I was getting a little wacky and hungry when I was finishing this up. All right, so that's going to exist. And now the error is going to change. Yeah, so there's nothing. So URLS exists, but it's got nothing in it. Uh, and just real quick, I want to get to green real quick. So... Actual equals that, right? We're green once that's there. Okay, yeah, everything's green. Now I'm going to bring this back in. This way I can, I, I can always bounce back to green real quickly if I need to, or if I get lost. Ran failure, failure one. Okay, so there's a failure. Got it. Uh, and so this is where we're just going to put in our sort. Well, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to get back to green really fast. Because we're going to do this. Self URL list equals, equals, one equals, equals that. Run it again, should be green. Okay, we're green. Now you actually get to put in the logic to make that happen. Um, which again, we should have here. Sorted. Go that way, go that way.
self URL list equals sorted self URL set with this little crazy thing, which compares against the domain. So we save that. So it's still going to pass. This is just checking that the code compiles, assuming the code compiles. And now we can get rid of this and see if we're populating it properly. I should have commented out. Oops, did not. Okay. I want to leave it there and comment it. First differing element is element zero. Developers.google. And dub 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 dot google. Oh yeah, crap. Okay. Um this is gonna be tricky, actually. So I'm actually cool with this because in the so it's sorting off of the top level domain, like Google's dot com Google's Google.com, or I guess the second level domain, whatever, the domain. Um but the third level domain is isn't being sorted. And that's what's happening right now is this it's not going in the order that I would like it to go in. Um, and it's not going in a specific order. So now we gotta figure out how to do that. Which might be tricky. <clears throat> Cause we wanna extract so we get the domain, that's the first thing. And how, how do you sort that? So let's look at TLD extract for a second. Ooh, that was a mess with me. Right, so extract result. So what we're looking for is to sort first by the domain and then by the subdomain. Python sort two, two types, two ways. Sorting a Python list, two fields. That was from 2011 though, sorted, TSV1, key operator, item getter, one, two. I would prefer, here we go. It didn't import anything when using Lambda functions. This following sorts list by the first element, then by the second element. Okay. Uh, hang on to that, because I think that's gonna be helpful. As a, I like pointing to it as the answer. Um, so we need to put it inside parens. Oops. Self URL list. Run that. So here's our list. Yeah, so sometimes sometimes develop it's it's an arbitrary order. Um which of course makes it a little tricky to test, but well, I guess you could pass it a list instead of the set. But that's okay. We'll figure this out. So. So it's in parens and then 
So TLD extract X domain, and then is it this simple? Domain, D O M A I N, domain. Developers, Google, API. Oh, uh oh, look at this. We green? We're green. I like this. Pi sort URLs by domain and sub domain. So wheat also acceptable. Uh, cool. Okay, so that's that, and that's actually what is one of the things I was going to come back and do. Um, again, because here you can see uh, dub dub dub, then Chrome, then developers, and dub dub dub. Right. So that's not in order. Um, and also, oh yeah, it's like the GitHub's. Two. Um, oh, Hal to NASA. That's pretty funny. That's cool. Okay. I like that. Yay, sorting. And I kind of have an understanding of what's happening there. Kind of. Because, like, it's... You pass the value into X. And then you do operations on X to get the weight of what you're returning. And that's how it makes the decisions. Uh, and then I guess you can do the, the first weight and then the second weight. My guess is you could do third. So an infinite, right? An infinite to memory. It's probably a sci-fi book title. Um, I don't think I put this in my pen. Pen. Python. Pip? Do I have pip? I'm about to have pip. Sweet. Okay, so that's got... That's got those. So, okay. I'm going to leave this up for now. This is in pretty good shape. I don't know why those didn't get blocked up. It's okay. Running with sorted output JSON URLs. Except not yet, but that's okay. Because we're not actually using that, right? Nope, we aren't. So we got our test running. Let me just make sure. Yeah, so we can drop this. So there's our expected. We're getting URL list from given URL set. Okay, and then make URL set. These are all cool, right? Yeah. And there's our things. So now we just need to, and again, this is not what I'm gonna test. Like I could test that the file was written properly, but like I'd be testing file writing and JSON dump. So I'm just going to look at the file. Uh, I'm not going to try and write a test over that. Uh, so what we've got, what we want to do is JSON file write, JSON dumps. Let me do it here, it's fine. Nah, we'll do it down here. Self URL list. Am I missing a one, two? Why is that angry? 
JSON file, right? One, two. Oh, because there's an extra one. I gotcha. And I don't have a super good way to test this other one other than to run it. So we're gonna run it. Um I didn't make any new ones, did I? I'll throw all these in a file and then just fire them back up. Um, so there's nothing. Yeah, there's not one that's open. Okay, weird. Here we go. We're going to close Scratchpad for now. So there are tabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some of which may be dupes. Dupes would go away. Run it. Let's see what happens. All right. Takes no keyword arguments, it says. Aha. That's where we went wrong. I think our tabs just closed. They did. And we should now see this. Oh. Big trouble. Ah, because I didn't add make URL list into our mix. Make URL set. Make URL list. Example Python and Pyrex. There you go. Django. Uh, what are some good YouTube? Um, my net is slow. I don't have like pages, just like pages, pages on here. Um, NASA. Whatever. So we got five. Oh, we got four launch pads on there too. Nope, there it goes. Uh, all right. Try this again. Pat charm. So we should have five tabs coming up. Running it. There go the tabs. There you go, five of them and sorted. Oh, we should have done like, ah, eh, whatever, we'll put them back in because I can retest it as it comes back in. I think I think the sorting should be happening, so, or the sorting is happening, so, and it tested well, so I have a decent amount of confidence in it. Um, and close that. And so now the trick is to put them back. So, let's, commit what we got here. I don't understand why these are there. Whatever. Updated to alphabetize domain then sub domain. I get rid of all that other junk when I'm move it into wherever it's gonna actually live. Um, so now, new file, put tabs back. That pie. User bin environment. Python three. So import JSON with open uh, browser save tabs JSON. Read. Wait, how do you open it? How do you read a JSON file? Pi JSON read. Read a JSON file. Okay, data load. Okay, gotcha. With read as JSON file. JSON data equals JSON, uh, JSON load JSON file. Print JSON data. Are we live? There we go. Uh, so can we just call, so like with, um, 
Oh, they're links. I don't want them to be links right now. I can do it in quotes. That's fine. Um, so what you can do, open. Is that just going to, can we just call open on all of them? I think we just call open on all of them. Oops. Yeah, I think we can just call open on all of them. We just loop through the list. What happens if you just do a URL? What does that do? No switch file. Okay. So you got to, that makes sense. It's HTTP isn't a command. So again, not really a test to do here. Um, so for URL in JSON data, right? First, we're just going to print it. Zip. Now, Python run external command. Whoops. External process. There we go. Import sub process, run sub process. So we move you up here. Whoops. Ah, come on. Oh, yeah. This makes it easy because I've already done. I already did the sort, so I don't have to worry about sorting. Um, though, weirdly, I might. I guess you could hand edit it, but then you'd put them in anyway. So, ah, whatever. It's fine. Open. URL. Oh. Wait. Ah. That one needs to be qu in quotes. Zip, 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 zip. It's weird that it jumped back that way. That is terrifying. Nightmare fuel. Bjork. All right. Also a little terrifying, but that's Bjork, so. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But I think we open one, right? So let's. So we're clear of that stuff. So those are the ones that should open. There are five of them. And did they actually open in order too? So Django. Example, NASA, Pythex, YouTube, as expected. Uh, and then also, uh, let's actually check. So if I run it again, it should just, like, it, it shouldn't have any knowledge of itself. So it should just run them again, which is cool. Because um, I don't want it to, oh, well, you could actually see if tabs were duped. And not open them if they were duped for a future version um to do don't open tabs if they are dupes because i'm already deduping on the input the deduping on the output would only be for um if i already had tabs open and i overlay these other ones on there which is probably going to happen um, I may do that. Yeah, because you just, you could just reread the existing tabs. And if they're, oh, and if, and read those into a set and then re put this back into a set. Oh, but the set doesn't have order. So you'd have to redo the order at that point. Which you could do, we've got the code to do that. And I'm not gonna do that tonight. Um, 
But anyways, if we rerun this. Oh. It didn't reopen them. So it's already. It already does its own dedupe, basically. I did not know that. Because if we go back to iTerm. So here's YouTube. And if I tell it to open YouTube again. Oops. If I tell it to open YouTube again. Yeah, it just goes to the one that's already open. That's cool. Okay, so it's got deduping built in. Even better. Even better. So that finished that. That's awesome. I feel like there should be more, but there's not. Um, oh. Oh. That's no good. Sorry, dude. That sucks. Uh, I've almost yanked this thing out a couple times, but I got like a 10 foot wire on it that gives me like a chance of not doing that. So I hear you. Um, sorry. That blows. I hate breaking things. Why is unversioned? Oh, see, that one was unversioned. It was, wait a minute, it was saving some of those. What? I don't know what that was going on. Okay, whatever. Um, Great of the put tabs back. Scripts. Commit. Well, I don't hope that doesn't happen every time you do that. Uh, sweet, okay, so. And now what I can do... Okay, these won't be alphabetized, but I don't care. I want them alphabetized in general, um, but this particular set won't be because all that stuff isn't wired in yet. Whoops. Oh. What is the gun shift end? There we go. Browser save tabs. Ooh, okay. I'm going to have some commas that are missing somewhere. If I'm smart, I'll put the commas in first. And then paste. Still got a red angry down there. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, gotcha. Hey, nothing is in the file. Okay, so now if we read run, save that so it's saved. And see if this opens 100 tabs for me. I wonder if there's like a response that comes back from the browser. There must be when the open command happens. This is going to take a minute. Also, my computer might catch on fire. Just started shoving tabs off the side. This is cool though. Like, I, I can now when I'm getting ready to stream, I don't have to worry about going through tabs and closing them. I can just go and throw them all in a stash, and then uh, when I want to bring them back, just bring them right back. Oh, I was about to go search for something, but I can't touch it yet because it's all going to freak out. Batwoman costume. 
Oh, tell me it ends on Batwoman costume. Nice. Oh, no. Flask. I just had to pause on Batwoman costume for a minute there just to, you know, be Batwoman costume. It's <laughs> a lot of tabs. It's cool that they're sorted. Like, I may actually sometimes just run this just to sort tabs. Zip. I had a whole bunch of stuff on localhost, it looks like. Oh, no. Okay. So that's N for NASA. P for Python. I'm trying to figure out where we are on the alphabet. S, Stack Overflow. T, Twitter. It's weird that it kind of jumps through a bunch of them there like that. You, YouTube. Okay, that's probably the end. How do you pop an alert? Let's open some more tabs. It's probably angry at me right now because I think a bunch of those things are still loading. Python, open, or display, Mac, notification. I think you can just, yeah, OSA script, display notification. Wrapper for Notification Center. I don't know that you need a wrapper for it. Because I think you can just do off the command line. You should install Terminal Notifier first with Ruby example. Yeah. OSA, OSA script E. Display notification earth. Ah, uh, definitely didn't do the right thing. How about a quote? Expected given with nope. Command line, Mac, notification. That's what I did. There it is. It's up on the left, it's up on the right. So now I can just add to PyCharm. Oh yeah, actually, so hang on a second. Yeah, so on the, up in the upper right. My point that way, yeah, it actually, nope. It's reversed, of course it is. Um, run, URLs, why not that, there we go. Ooh, things are a little slow right now. Sorry for the hundred tabs. Sorry. Um, sub process run. Let's say scripts. All that jazz. I think that's it. Okay, so. Here, we're gonna do, we're gonna take a bunch of these away. And test. Cause I don't think it should open any more tabs.
Yeah, it just goes to the existing tabs that are open with those URLs. And, oh, or is it? Maybe. Hmm, but it didn't pop my message. Why didn't it pop my message? Oh, no such file or directory. Oh, 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 oh. Users bin, is that where it is? Which OSA script, users bin, okay. Try that again. Zip, 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 zip. Still didn't do it. No such file or directory. Aha, I am having a problem with commas. The problem with commas. I kinda wish, there it goes. Okay, it popped up. Well, that's easy. Don't open tabs if there are dupes. You don't have to worry about that because it's already doing that. Sweet. Ah, oh, sorry, dude. Weird. Whoa, what's going on there? Huh. Um, put in notification when process is complete. I got nothing. Okay, so that does that. Um, I'm just gonna leave that sit there for a little while and think about where I wanna push stuff. Um, but it works, so that's cool. Uh, and I've got all my browser tabs back open. That's a pretty good song. Um, so FFmpeg. There we go. Uh, and add a timestamp for view. Cool. Send hackers to SSHGL. Uh, FFmpeg. MPEG. So, all right. So, what I'm trying to do. I've got some open source videos here that are varying lengths and I want to assemble them. Like I want to take out clips of them for like five or 10 seconds a piece, put them together and then also get a song associated with them from some music that I've got, which where is that music? I don't know what I did with the music. Did I put it in music? I don't have music anymore. Music. Did I put it here? iTunes. Open source. Nope. Send to Vault 3. Audio hijack. Garage band. I don't know what I did with it. Uh. Trove. Yep. 
music. So here, uh, okay, there we go. That's where I put it. So, okay. This is a ridiculous thing to do, but we're gonna try it. Um, FFmpeg length of song. How exactly the duration time from FFmpeg output. Video duration in seconds. FFmpeg symbol multiple videos. Concatenate. See, I don't want to totally concatenate them though. Your inputs do not have do not have the same if your inputs don't have the same parameters or not the same codecs or if you want to use this if you're doing all that stuff. You can re-encode just the inputs that don't match so they share the same codec. And you use the demuxer to avoid re-encoding the other outputs. Inputs. Use this method when you want to avoid re-encoding in a format. Does not support file level concatenation. Most files used by general users do not support that. Okay. Do not use with MP4. Okay. So clip and assemble. FFmpeg. Split video and merge back. This is what I was looking at. I don't want to cut sections out. Oh, uh, maybe I do. How do you use FFmpeg to find multiple files into one? Okay. Start looking at all this stuff. Ah, I'm trying to use FFmpeg to split video based on some start time, end time inputs. Use trim and concat source files with different codecs. Make sure your individual files have the same resolution and ideally same frame rate and chroma subsampling, whatever that is. This will prevent errors or glitches due to concatenation. Filter, trim zero to ten. Ten. I don't know what set points is. What's he trying to do? Trying to split video based on some start time endpoints and replace those with other videos. For instance, for input ten to fifteen. I will need to replace exactly seconds 10 to 15 with another video. It's not exactly what I'm trying to do, but it's kind of close. Trim is used to specify the individual portions of the input video streams 0v, 1v that you later want to concatenate. These parts are named V0 through V2. The set points filter resets the timestamps of those individual parts to zero, which is required for concatenation. Later we can concatenate three parts. If you want to trim certain, okay. If you want to trim from a certain timestamp to the end, use trim start equals 15 instead of specifying a range. For also have audio, you gotta do that. If you want to split the clips and later reassemble them. What is this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Uh, I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. We're gonna make a command. 
Oh, yeah. Get you some cheap ones, man. Uh, okay, so let's find some files to play with. We'll get to audio later. Right now, we're gonna work on video. Uh, maybe we are. Where am I going? Downloads. That's documents. This is downloads. Videos for assembly. Um, so this is these are the raw ones. I have a feeling we're going to want to make smaller versions of these. FFmpeg size, change size. That's not a good command, Alan. Create thumbnails. Uh, split on interval. Oh, wait a minute. Splits of video at one minute intervals. Doesn't pair with work with MKVs. Okay. Make video out of an image in MP3. Okay, so that's what I did earlier. That kind of works. GIF stuff. Change the size. I can't believe I did that. That's silly. FFmpeg. Change size. Scaling. Resize the video to make it smaller. Most big example using the scale filter will probably have more flexibility. Minus one will tell if I'm to automatically choose the correct height in relation to the provided width. Preserve the aspect ratio can also be used with width. One downside of scaling when using X264 requires even values. And scale may automatically choose an odd value. Roll the height with error. Okay, yeah. Note that if you have a build complaints about not recognizing dash C filter, it may also support scale. But you can download and compile yourself. Great. Let's try it. So Size test, or here we go. Test. Ah, come on. Do I still have it on the clipboard? Yeah, okay. Ooh, it's 121 meg. Good lord. Actually, that's not that huge for video. Never mind. So, downloads, video, tests, resize. Uh, six forty, maybe. I think the C and the A is for um, MKV is what it wanted there. Let's see how long this takes.
I just want to make these smaller to start with so that I've got it's easier to work with them in general. The questions could be the aspect ratios and the sizes on the frame rates and all that jazz. Hopefully they're all the same. video actually is it's three minutes hopefully it doesn't take that long to actually zoom it down okay so that's 1920 by 1080 1920 by 1080 1920 by 1080 19 by 1080 by 1080. Okay, cool. Tests. Resize. First, let's make sure that worked. Uh, here, let's paste this. This work? Hey, it worked. Looks pretty sharp. So, let's make it even smaller. Um... 640 is 320. Which would be 150, 160 is 320. Yeah, 160. I don't know what's there. 160. Yes, overwrite, please. What is going on with that? What am I doing? Something changed. What is going on? Does that not work in the finder? That used to work in the finder. Now it doesn't. Um, that hotkey is different now. Oh well. Except I'm going to keep doing it. And now I don't trust it. Go the other way. Wait, that way. What? <sighs> that used to work. And that's, I mean, that used, that worked for years. That's so on my hands. That's going to be hard to do. Fix it? Yeah, we fixed it. So how big is that? Now it should be small. There we go. Tiny. Why can't I resize it? Smaller than that. Oh well, it's cool. Uh I don't know how to do this quickly, so we're gonna do it this way. Actually, we're not. 
Quit. Try it again. This, 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 this. That, that, small. Boneyard, Ferris wheel we got, that we got, so we need fire. Mess that up. Small, mm, small, S small. Ferris wheel, what's going right now? All right, let's look at this other command. So, yeah, so there's inputs and then zero V, one V, V1, V2. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, to start with, we're gonna do this with existing stuff, which hopefully works with MK4s, MKVs. Which one was that? That was Bone Yarn. So now we're gonna do Ferris Wheel. So we've got Bone Yard. Downloads. Video for assembly, tests, resize. Boneyard raw, MP4. And Oh, we definitely do the small one, not the raw one. That's the whole point. Small. Trim 15 to 30. Okay, so this should only be a 30 second video by the time we see this. So can cat, okay, so this takes the first video. Trim, cuts out 10 seconds of it. I don't get the set point start to zero. V zero. Zero to five for five seconds, 15 to 30. Okay, I think I get this. I think I get this. Let's see if it works. No such file or directory. What? Boneyard small MKV. Aha. Aha, aha, aha. MKV. KV. Whoops, don't do that. No way. It's 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet, it works. Hey, <laughs> yeah, five dollar headphones, not as solid as uh, expensive headphones. All right, well, I got these clips working. So we're gonna make a note of that. Um, FFM peg. See, why? I don't know what I was doing here. Oh, wait, there we go, down there. Tried that with MP4s, but it didn't work. Oh, okay. Whoa. Ah, everything's freaking out. Okay. Assemble with clips from multiple files. Let's click on that to get to it. This is good. Let's click on that to get to it. Which is really what we want to look at. Come here. Via this. Uh, I think people said that to John Glenn um, when he was going into orbit. It was got to be John Glenn, I think. Yeah. So he was on the receiving end of it. I just think it's fun to say whenever somebody's doing something like Godspeed. All right, so we got the trim. Here are the trims used to specify. You have to trim those streams separately. Okay, so I'm just gonna steal this for my notes. Check the page. Okay. How? Okay, so that's step one. Step two is put audio over video. And I could do the, all of this with Adobe Premiere or whatever, with, or like I'm sure the Mac software for whatever, but like. I want to see if I can do it in code. How to add a new audio, not mixing, into video. Replace audio, video, audio. Oh, that's a good diagram. Ah, uh, the output. Oh, see, look at this. Okay. The map option allows you to manually select streams or tracks. Okay, so I think I'm starting to get my head around this. 1A, or sorry, 0V, so this is input 0, which is video. And then 1A, so this is index 1, which is audio, I think. This example is use CV copy to stream copy, mux the video. No re-encoding occurs. Quality is preserved and the process is fast. 
if your input audio format is compatible with the output format, then change that to that to stream copy both the video and the audio. If you want to re-encode the video and audio, then remove CV, CV copy. If you want to overlay it, which we don't want to do, this is exactly what I want, I think. So worst case is you could do this as a two-step process, right? So I can make the output and I can overlay the input on it. Um, okay, let's find a song. Uh, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind is the only thing I can think of. Um, the other one I'll tell you though, is if you've ever seen a shuttle launch, not that they do this anymore, but it'll probably happen with the next rockets is people just kind of sit there and go, go a lot, um, which is really neat. Cause it's just like, go, go. It's very cool. Um, I was actually playing around with the, uh, some of these tabs actually that are opened. I don't know how do you get back to them. There we go. There should be a collection of NASA tabs in here because I was looking at the API last night. Yeah. Um, oh, maybe I closed them all before today. Hang on. Um, I think it was yesterday, right? Yeah, so NASA has a API for images.nasa.gov, which is their giant repository of all the stuff, I think. Um, but I was messing around with it yesterday. Uh, and I don't think, oh, I think I closed out those files, whatever. I, I think I know how to get back to it. Um, but it's pretty straightforward to get to and doesn't actually require much. Um, it's just curl URLs. Um, they give you half the stuff in the documentation. Um, and you can get one of the things, so one of the reasons I was messing with that last night was the videos that I have here. I was looking at using NASA videos for. I'm just going to use these to start with because um, they're free open source or whatever. Um, but the uh, the NASA ones, I want to do something with the NASA videos at some point and like the some of the photo projects that they have up there or whatever. I want to like, I don't know, make bots with them or whatever. Um, yep. Yeah. There, I so read the rules. You may have to like say via NASA or whatever, but they're all like taxpayer money pays for NASA. So all the ad sets they produce are public domain. Um, and you may not even have to say copyright NASA um, or provided by NASA or anything like that. It may just be straight public domain. You get to do whatever you want with them. Um, talk to your lawyer or whatever. Um, and it, like, it's probably somewhere in here. Um, it's funny for me. They did this document in 2019, but like, it's a PDF. Put it on the actual website. Um, yes, somewhere on the API stuff, it'll tell you. Uh, is this the API? No, that's not what I go of. Uh, where's the actual, I think it's just api.nasa.gov maybe, yeah. So you can sign up for a key to do something. I'm not really sure what, um, but you can also just bang off the uh, bang off the APIs. Across all federal agencies. See, that's just cool. Concept tags are now disabled in the service. Also, all optional return parameters, copyright is returned if the image is not public domain. Okay, yeah, so some of these from this service are not public domain. Um, but yeah, I I, th I think you're pretty safe, but like definitely look it up. Oh, code.nasa.com, gov, whatever, and data. Hmm. Open, let's just click all the links. Publicly available Na NASA data sets, data sets, data sets, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's getting into stuff that is just going to be way over my head. Data sources, data visualizations, why not? I'll leave that open. Um, 
All right, let's do this ffmpeg command. Okay, seriously, right? Uh, I grew up in Huntsville, Alabama, which is where the Space and Rocket Center is. Um, and so there's actually now a Saturn V rocket that's that they've stood up, um, which is cool. It just towers over everything. Uh, and they've got some of the original parts in there and um, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. So, oh, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to find a song. We're going to find a song. We're going to find a song. Let's find a song. I think it's on Trove. Music. All right. I need to listen for a second. Oh, see, that feels weird. Rage. It's not very ragey. There we go. That'll work. So what we're trying to do, uh, you can go away for now. Oh, so let's go ahead and get these going too. No such file or directory. What? What did I do? Oh, did I change? Actually, I don't understand what happened. Uh, Ferris fire. Oh, Ferris. Maybe. How about that? Does that work? Crap. Let's actually look at the file name. Maybe. Oh, I already did the Ferris wheel. Here. And also, let's do this while we're here. This is just going to be a test, so. I want to get that up there so I can see it. Ferris wheel. Oh, fire raw is what we need to do. Fire, fire, fire. We did the wrong word. Fire. Fur. Do that, that, that. There we go. And then where was our FFmpeg command for the audio? I lost it. There it is. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna pin that for a second. Pin. Whoosh. All right, so easiest thing to do would be to, um, to do it in two passes. I guess we should try that first. Finder, so we've got output, which is really going to be here. Let's move this to a different file. Tests, video, audio, assemble. So we're going to take these and we're going to put them in there. So our video uh, input is going to be input.mp4. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. Let's put this up here. Whoops. To do that. Video, audio, the symbol, V1. So we got that. We got that. We're going to take Buckarai Bonzu here. Buck, whatever. And it's not a wave, it's an MP3. 
shortest and output. All right, let's just see what happens. CD up to there. All right, cross your fingers. Uh-oh, it's doing something. Oh, it did something. Oops. And see if it flips. There's our other music, there's our other stuff. Okay, cool. All right, all right, ooh, that was loud. Didn't realize how loud that was. Uh, let's do this for a second. Get everything set back. Okay, so the question is, So, add music to video. This works. I think it overwrites the existing track if there is one. So, let's just grab that while we think it works. Put that here. Hey, new GIF. I need to make that bigger and do different stuff with it, but it's a start. Okay, so that works. So now the question is, can we actually do all this mess in one go? Well, and so the other trick is how many videos, so how would we set up different videos? So let's hang off on that though until we get this solved. So. This works for video without audio. Okay, complex filter. So that's our inputs. So the first question is if we just add another input. I did not, uh, and also Cyberpunk the game. Or the movie, is it one? It's one of those two, it has to be one of those two. Looks like maybe a game. Haven't done much gaming, I played a lot of Fallout. Uh, and I used to play Destiny, but I'm not like in the game scene. Uh, interesting. Okay, yeah. I think I've heard people, folks talking about it though. It's supposed to be pretty solid, yeah. Cool. The, uh... oh, I can't play a video because it'll, I'll get copyright struck I'll check it out what's uh is it open world kind of what's the what's its gig oh, is that still there oh look at that pins pins are nice oops come here copy that yeah <laughs> right <laughs> yeah Yay, internet explosion on Reddit. Until December, when was it supposed to come out? Like, well, I guess everybody's even more hyped up for stuff right now because it's everybody's in quarantine, right? So, or lots of people are still in quarantine or have that kind of stuff going on.
All right, so we're just going to do this slowly but surely and see what happens. Um, vid audio clips. So we're going to take the boneyard and the Ferris wheel. And that. Boneyard, Ferris wheel. So Boneyard's... Ooh, don't do the Raws. That's a bad, bad idea. Okay, so let's just make sure this works. before we go all crazy. Yep, works, okay. Sweet. So that works, and now let's just add an input from the audio, which is gonna be, whoops this and see if that explodes things uh where's ffmpeg force actually probably do that here format, force whatever, um, how about overwrite? <clears throat> overwrite output files, dash Y. Okay. I just don't wanna have to hit Y every time we're doing this, cause it's gonna ask us a lot. So dash yes. All right, let's see what this does. Did something. I'm assuming there's not going to be any audio there yet. Yeah, because we haven't actually put it in yet. Okay. So, map. Oh, map out. Map concatenate. Oh, God. Number three, I think that's video one. Audio zero out. That's probably track audio zero. So if we map So it maps out. So we get out and then we map out. So we get V zero V. Map A1. Shortest. People who made this application are crazy. Holy crap. No way that worked. Did not work. Didn't explode. So that's first step. Did not work. Did not work. Start again. Let's 
Let's actually try something very similar. So we're gonna input that here. And we're actually gonna map 1A. Oh wait, but it might be map, hang on. One, zero, one, two A. What if we do map two A? And actually let's do all this with two. I'm guessing that slots. No such file directory. What? Oh, because I changed it. Let's actually put Finlandia in there, because that way we don't have to worry about that. Resize Finlandia small. Copy. You go there. You come away. Let's just make sure this is actually still good. Whoops. Aha. Didn't do it. So this should still process but no audio, right? So what happens? Oh. Wait a minute. Was that the natural? Hang on. I think that's the sound from the first one. Yeah, okay. Okay, that was weird. So Assembles videos. Oh yeah, so that was, it was doing one, so it was pulling the sound from here. That may be it, okay. Assembles videos, but has audio from that starts at the beginning. not when the clip is from, which is good. So here we go, two audio, shortest. <sighs> All right, last time I didn't do this. Yes, we should have had the Y in there. Yes. Nah, eh, whatever. Leave that out. Cross your fingers. I did it. switch there it is and it should quit when the video ends yep okay sweet so what I can do is that works okay that's perfect that's good Because what I want to do with this is, so I've got all these, uh, correct, Rove. 
so YouTube has a free audio library that you can use. So all these tracks won't get you copyright struck. So I'm going to take open source video, make video music videos of all the tracks and then upload them all, but then I can make playlists out of them, just have them all up there for people to have. Um, Cause they're that way you can use it without having to get copyright stuff happening to you. Um, so that's the idea, but I want to automate that process and make just have a whole bunch of like video that I just throw into it and then have it assemble random videos for all the audio and then upload. So that's the project project. Uh, and the cool thing is, so I should be able to figure out how far I want to go with this tonight. Um, full test one. So really what I want to do is grab these. Oh, actually let's put the full ones in there. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Also, we're going to go to sublime text to make a new file. This works. Hooray. Make video out of clips with music. Tube audio, 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 audio library assembly video one <sighs> what am I doing I'm a little tired Video to audio MP3 output MP4. So this is one of them. Help from that. I'm never gonna find the other one. Oh, army click right on it. One of those two things is gonna happen. From those. Okay. But now what we wanna do is we wanna grab this, come here. Uh oh, we're gonna make a new file. Paste that, save. Downloads, video assembly, tests, full test one. Make it dot bash. Yeah, so, okay, 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 okay. What are we doing? We've got five to play with. They're all MP4s. One, two, three,
to Oh, these are MP4s to start with, though, aren't they? Yeah, they're MP4s. I hope it still works with MP4. That would be kind of a bummer. I mean, I could just convert them, but that would still be a pain. Okay, so what's the easiest way to do this? Um, so zero. So first thing, let's get the one zero one two three four five. So audio is on five. Oh, interesting. Trim. So the trim is starting from the start each time. No, it's not. Oh, okay. So you can. Okay. Yeah. So this goes from zero seconds to 10 seconds. This goes from zero to five. This goes from second 15 to 30. Okay. And that's video two. So you can kind of just randomly do this. Video three, cut it from 60 seconds to, well, here, let's do this, because that has an intro. So uh, let's do 15 to 30, too, just to prove the point. 60 to 70. I don't want to get too out of hand here. Because that's video three. And we're going to assemble three. I'm making a whole lot of changes. I'm guessing this needs to be four. Uh, we're just going to see what happens. Uh, make it. All right, let's see what happens. Let's get to work. Oh, can't do that. Make. Let's go on. Yeah, so I just want to assemble like a random um, video. I'm not sure if you're on a second ago, but so I've got all this YouTube music um, that's free for people, for streamers or for whatever to use. So I'm going to just put all this random video behind it and upload them as YouTube videos. So it's not just audio tracks that you can use that way. You can actually like make a playlist and have the playlist going and it'd be safe to see and to use. So that's where I'm headed with it. Um, kind of ridiculous, but I don't know. It seemed like a fun, interesting thing to do. Uh, this is encouraging. Yeah, if this, so if this works, the next trick would just be to set up, like you would just feed it a whole bunch of video and then you would feed it a whole bunch of music. Or so you'd want to go down the music list and then you'd have a stockpile of video. And as you loop through each song, you would grab the length of the song and then you would just randomly assemble or randomly create this out of videos 
for a time that was a little bit longer than the song because the short it goes to the you don't want the video to end before the song ends so the the video is slightly longer it gets cut down to the length of the song but then it would just randomly be doing whatever um as the video is going just to have something happening while the song's going on yeah it got uh got nuked right was it YouTube who sued him? I didn't know who it was. I, I thought it was the recording industry. Um, but yeah, I heard that they got they got blasted. Um, so are they? Did they sue YouTube Download or did they sue GitHub? I know GitHub got had to pull it. Um, right. Yeah. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens with that. Um, I mean, it's tough though because like, how many lawyers is it gonna take to fight YouTube or Google or whatever? Um, the answer is you don't have enough money. Um, so it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens with it. I'm, I'm sure it'll like spread and get all over the place. Um, the, uh, but I know that they've got, so YouTube, or sorry, GitHub. Has a DMCA repository. So that's the other thing that they get is Oh, my computer's so slow right now because I'm burning all that video. So here's all the DMCA acts that they've get. And somewhere down here, I'm guessing we find... Oh, no, it's not. What did it happen? Huh, it's not in there. Maybe it happened earlier. Who knows? Napster 2.0, right. Yeah, no, that's that's really interesting because it's not like they weren't doing any distribution of videos. They just gave you software versus where Napster was, of course, the software that actually connected you up with the video. So, yeah, it's I don't know. It's going to be. I don't know. It seems like it'll be an interesting court case. Um, but again, I don't know who's going to fight them. Like maybe the EFF gets involved and uh, and takes a. Uh, backstop at it. Yeah, I'm just not seeing it. RIA? Oh, I wonder if this is it. Yeah, there it is. And so it lists all the branches. Oh, private. How do they see the private repos? Well, that seems suspicious. But there's all the people that forked, uh, that forked it. Pornophage, apparently. Forked it. Yeah, so that's four seven days. Good. Yeah, so twenty third. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens here. Where'd my finder go? My finder disappeared. Hello. Uh, I should move this somewhere that makes sense, but right now it's just gonna hang out there. Tests full test one. All right, moment of truth. It's also possible I've made stuff that people can get really stoned and watch if the, but some of the music crap, but like, um, and those cuts are weird. Like, how do you, f <laughs> all right, whatever. We're going to look, I got to go in a minute, but, um, FFmpeg fade concat concast. How about concat? Present command specifies stream copy, but since you wish to alter the frames are interested in it, it won't work. It can be done if you know the duration of the two videos and the duration of the fade. Also, the command below the resolutions of the two videos should be the same. Oh, look at all that. 
All right, so we got two videos, filters complex, color black with width and height, D video one length plus video two length minus fade duration base. Set points. Start points, sorry. Video one format fade in ST zero D fade duration alpha one. <laughs> it's all in there, you can do it. Oh. MP4, MP4, filter complex. DL transition duration four offset 1.5. What if we just threw that in there? All right, so let's go back to the small one and let's actually put, I, I don't know. I mean, so, Like, I've, I've got no idea how that's going to work. Um, I mean, the first question is, is the software itself illegal? And it doesn't seem like that should be possible because it's just downloading. Like, it's not doing redistribution. It's only downloading a file that's available on the web. But, I mean, people have gotten busted for doing that. That guy, uh, Aaron somebody years ago who just he found files sitting on an open ftp server and grabbed them and he got nuked it's like basically if they're after you and they can get you um is kind of my thought of it so i yeah i don't know i i doubt my instinct is i doubt that the people that forked it will get in trouble that's not really what they want they want to put a kibosh on it kibosh on it whatever um so as long as you're not redis distributing it that they can see. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But like, I think it's going to be a Streisand effect thing where probably more and more people are going to know about it and use it now. Um, biggest thing is I hope YouTube doesn't figure out how to stop it because I know people who use it. We'll leave it at that. Um, all right, so let me get back. I should have actually put this in. So that works. We're gonna make a new one for the smaller one because I want to try that crossfade stuff and I don't want to have to deal with it all the time. So our full test worked. So this is gonna be our crossfade, but we're gonna use the small ones. Here, 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 here. That stays the same. Save. Tests. Crossfade. Make. Video. Dot bash. Whatever. I guess I should do this. Then bash. And then if we go. Yeah, well, so. I wonder if it's still available on any of those forks. Um, well, and also I wonder if it's available on brew because I know that you could get it on, well, I don't know if you use, so on Max, there's a command called brew that downloads stuff. It's like pip. Um, it could still be available there. I kind of doubt it though. I'm guessing they would've got it. But if, if they only went after GitHub, it may still be available on brew. That'd be interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with it. 
because it's actively on fire and that's not a thing I'm going to mess with. Okay, go up. Crossfade. Is that going to work? No such file directory. Next to each small. Thought I was missing one. Oh, I never made that one. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Uh, I do want to make that, though. It's probably back here somewhere. Yeah, look at that. We didn't do it. Let's go ahead and make that so we got the full set. Nope, that's not where it needs to be. it again. Also MKV would help. Try that. Oh, come on. Raw, raw. Not raw. Take three. Uh, I'll, I will stream tomorrow. Be tomorrow night sometime, uh, 7.38 uh, Eastern Time, and then uh, probably go for a couple hours. I, I stream most nights these days, um, just kind of like I work and I stream because I don't leave the house anymore because it's plague. Um, but yeah, so have a good night. We'll catch you. Uh, good talking to you. We'll see you, see you later. Cheers. Watch out for uh, watch out for those cords. I'm sorry. That was a jerk thing to say. Um, Hope you get hope your headphones rewire themselves. See ya. Alright, so that worked. Now, okay, so we can get rid of this. And we can go back to here. And now we can see if that works in crossfade. Bummer. Oh, I think I know what happened. Nope. Oh, I didn't copy it in. We can handle that. Here it is. Put it in. Go. Try it now. We should move the audio in there too. I should have just duplicated the whole thing. That's really what I should have done. That might have been smart. Oh, it means in smaller files. Whatever. <laughs> See ya. There we go. And hopefully it goes fast because it's small. Okay, so that works. We know that that works. We'll just verify that that works. Here's our output. And we got some audio, right? We got some audio. Now, let's look at that crossfade. And let's just see what happens. I don't know where to put it. Right here. Mm, actually, let's do it. Oh, okay. So it's probably got to be in these quotes. Okay, hang on. What if we do it here? Does that seem like it makes sense? No such filter. GL transition. Bummer. When was this? Twenty seventeen. Why am not going? Did I break the internet? Oh, I broke Safari. There we go.
Install dependencies. Old libraries. Also, I think the problem, although I guess the GL transition is configured properly because when I do FMPEG, I get these things. FMMTAG. All kinds of stuff. Let's look at that in a different way. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. GL. Unable to find GL. Okay, so I don't have GL installed. Crap. Um. Okay, well. I have been an effect of official patch will be coming soon. All right, let's look at the other way to do Oh, God. Filter complex. Okay, color black, width height. D video one length, video two length, minus fade duration, base. Format. Fade in. Start zero, D equals fade duration. So can you just get this working? So that's no help. I'll save. All right, this is gonna be it. I mean, this could be it for the evening. This image, yeah. And I would have parse option value, video length one, video length two. Right, okay, so you gotta have. Alright, I'm not gonna get that into crossfade tonight. I've got some basics of it. Um because I think you need to have like I think these are numbers that you need to know, and within height. Yeah, duration is going to equal that base. Yeah, that's craziness. Um, I think you can get there. You just need to replace. those with those okay anyways that'll do it for now uh y'all have a good night see ya we'll do it again soon tomorrow as a matter of fact uh if you want to hang out and we'll uh we'll chat then see y'all thanks be kind